guys and welcome to a new doll box opening and review video today I'm going to be opening the classic Alice Imeno so uh, for those of you who are familiar with Pulip, Pulip already has a classic uh, collection of Alice and I have almost all of them except the rabbit and this time uh, it's the classic Alice collection from A-Zone and basically they have a Cheshire Cat Aika which is here they have a Coron Alice who is really really expensive and really really hard to find so I don't have her they have this TikTok Rabbit they have uh, the Mad Hatter Auto and Utah so they are Mad Hatter but they also have Rabbit Hears on their hat and uh, recently they made the I, um, Minami... no Riley, Riley, um, to Riley, a classic Alice, also Alice Tea Party, it's called. This one is called Classic Alice, but the others are called Alice Tea Party. I don't know, they seem to be like the same sort of series, but at the same time, they seem to be a bit different because they come out randomly, not like an execute series, uh, like the Otoki no Kuni, for example. So I don't have any Alice at all, I just have the cat and the rabbit and I have of course Auto and Yuta because they were kind of my first Azons guys. So uh, let me open her for you and I'm going to talk about her a little bit at the same time. So there is actually two versions of the um, Imeno TikTok rabbit, there is one with a special mouth and this one who is the normal one. So. Um, I, she came second hand, so she's not really uh, like all the pieces are probably not where they are if you actually buy her brand new. So she come with a background, which uh, ugh. so the background has an Alice here, as you can see, and it has the cat and the rabbit. Then there is the book as usual, so let me open that. They are kind of older doll. Uh, I don't remember. They are from... I don't know, it's not written on it. The date, let me check if I can find the date. No, actually I cannot find the date, so I don't, I don't remember when they have been made. Oh, it's not a book, it's a postcard. So we have the postcard which is pretty cute actually and there is something else inside right. there is something else inside so what is that? Uh, this is some uh, like it's an explanation for how to take care of your doll hair and how to put on uh, the air piece for one particular doll which is probably not this one and then she has a usual thing like the the book to actually how to take care of the doll so but it's pretty cute the postcard is pretty cute uh, let me put it back inside so that I am not going to have all my stuff all over the place then let's have a look at the doll so uh, I'm going to start at the back as usual so she comes with a clock obviously because she's a tiktok rabbit so uh, it seems like there is a sticker how do I open that okay so there is a um, pendant and there is, I think it's a sticker, yes that's a sticker. So on the sticker there is a clock with uh, Roman numerals and probably you're supposed to glue it, stick it on the clock here. There is like a rounded shape on one side and the other one is like, it's still rounded but it's a little bit flatter. And let me just put a sticker on now. So, oh, uh, wrong. Yeah, it's a little bit flatter, but not that much. So I'm going to just 
Because a little sticker on. I just hope it's going to glue perfectly. So I put a little sticker on. So that my TikTok rabbit is going to have her cloth later. So I'm going to leave it here for the moment. Then we have the rabbit ears. So it's like big long rabbit ears and uh, I know you've seen the Maya's video and the Maya cat have the very hard ears but this one has so she's a uh, rabbit with a down ears is the other one I don't know I don't really know the other one but she's a rabbit with a down eye uh, ears so I have to put everything like her hair all inside so that's why that was an explanation I saw it was going to be like the same as Maya just a little bit softer but actually no so I'll put that later on when I got the gloves and then we have the gloves so it's like this extra hands because I will have to use a fist hand probably to be able to put them on so you have the rabbit pounds as form of gloves for the doll so you have like the little pinkish design on the inside and it's all white on the outside and it only has three fingers I don't know how many uh, fingers a rabbit have in general but that might be accurate I don't know and then we have the doll herself so let me open here So this is Imeno and we have extra pair of hands with a closed fist that probably can fit inside the gloves. I don't like to put like open hands inside gloves because I'm always afraid I'm going to break the fingers. So I'm probably going to have to use those pretty soon. So let me put them here. So uh, here is Imeno. So remove that from around her head. And she's pretty cute. I like that she has this um, orange hair style. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to put on her ears and hands and the clock. And then I'm going to zoom on her to show her to you from close up. So here is our Imeno TikTok rabbit from close up. And as you can see, I put on her ears. So I put on the ears by putting it around her head uh, here. So you have a part of her hair inside and then some part of her hair in the front. So that it kind of hides the black part here. And then she has like, so those big, nice ears. Uh, they are white but they are pink on the inside and she also has a bow as a hairpiece uh, all attached together it's pretty cute on her I think and I just checked out and the only difference between this version and the other version is the mouth so this one has a smiling mouth and the other version has a straight mouth so no smile at all so I kind of like her because she has like little red thingy uh, her shoes are red and her bow here is red and then she has the reddish eyes and the nice wavy uh, semi long uh, hair I don't know what the first person who got her did to her hair but her hair is really really soft like a lot softer than what I usually got from Zone because it doesn't seem like there is a mist on it it looks like it's completely gone but still soft so it's it's really nice so maybe she had a shampoo or something I'm not sure but it, it's really nice then uh, she of course I change the hand so she has a closed fist on and I put the glove so you can see the glove uh, you can see the uh, footprint of the rabbit on there so three fingers and it's all white on the other side so she also has this little wrist warmer so it's made of white fabric with a ribbon at the center and some less on each side 
it's really uh, well made lot of detail on this doll again then she is wearing so she has a black dress so you can see underneath it's all black you have the usual uh, layer of fabric like the fold that it's sewn together to make this sort of shape then she has another part at the bottom and it's finished with lace and the lace is actually a little bit larger at the center than on the outside then on like this dress has short sleeves with a uh, little pieces of less around the arm and her arm actually mm, isn't moving quite on the side like the other because she's an older doll version then she is like the front of the dress has this white part with little buttons and it has a high color which has a lot of little detail as you can see it's all wavy here and then she has a bow on top so a lot of detail on this dress and then of course uh, I put her clock on so she is a TikTok rabbit then she is wearing this apron on the top so it's a white apron with less at the bottom uh, the folded fabric design here it has uh, less on each side and it has a huge big large bow at the at the back with is a sort of a uh, little rabbit tail so this is a the rabbit tail on the apron and you can like open and close it and put it on with this little crochet here so we have little crochet to attach the apron then underneath the skirt here, so she has an underskirt white with some less at the bottom. Then she has um, doll panties and the big long uh, way way above the knee socks. You can see it's transparent, so you can see the socks through the panties and it's black and white. And then she has those adorable little red shoes with a bow at the front uh, actually to put it on you have to untie here there is a clip button behind the bow so it make it easy to put on her shoes and she has those big compensated sole of her feet here in black so she's she's a really cute doll actually i really enjoy her style i think she's going to be good with my boys and because i have aika it's going to be like really nice to have them all together so guys that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed uh, as usual please let me know what you think about this doll do you like this version with a smile or do you prefer the other version which only has a straight line as a mouse uh, for the doll uh, because she's an old doll so some of you might already have her so just let me know and tell me like if you kept her rabbit style or if you like to change her and what type of outfit you uh, use with her well, I think she's really cute. I kind of enjoy the reddish theme that she has. And the Aika also has a sort of reddish theme to her. So uh, it's it's pretty cute. Like red, black and, and white is a nice coloring scheme, I guess. So uh, have fun whatever you do and see you next time for something else. Bye!